quick little disclaimer before watching this tutorial. In order to get TWRP and root, your device must be an Exynos variant of the Galaxy S8 or Galaxy S8 Plus. Visit description for all the S8 or S8 Plus models supported. Another thing to take into consideration is that after you successfully follow this tutorial, all the data on your device will be erased. So make sure you back up your photos, videos, music from your internal storage or any other important data before proceeding to the tutorial. Rooting your Samsung device will cause some apps not to function anymore. Samsung Pay or Secure Folder are some of the most popular not to. Rooting your device will also void your warranty. In order to start this tutorial, you need to activate OEM Unlock under Development option. Do so, go into Settings, About Phone, Software Information and press build number 5 to 7 times until you activate developer mode. Now press back 2 times and go into developer options. OEM unlock should be activated. Now let me switch the camera and start this tutorial. Hey what is going on everyone, this is Wicked and tonight I will show you how to install TWRP and root on your Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus. So the tools you're gonna need for this procedure is your personal computer an USB Type-C cable and of course the Galaxy S8 or the Galaxy S8 Plus. We have here the files we're gonna need in order to successfully root and install TWRP on our Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus. They're called uh, Novarity Opt Encrypt 5.1 Zip, Majisk, Odin and uh, TWRP. So I will show you where to get them from. All the links are listed in the description. For the TWRP, just search here for your device. Go into Devices and search S8. You'll have to download either the S8 or S8 Plus file. The rest of, the rest of them um, shown here are universal, but the TWRP is device specific, so make sure you, download, you get this right. So if you have a Galaxy S8, Download this, you have, if you have a Galaxy S8 Plus, download this one. So you go here, go into Primary Europe and download the latest TWRP file from here. Make sure it is the .star file. So after you did this, go here into the next link, again post it in the description, and download the latest Novarity Opt Encrypt zip. And uh, in order to get the Magisk root, go into this last website again listen in the description and click the latest magisk from download section now let's flash twrp on our device so i have here my device and let's open up odin first of all this is odin meet odin this is the software we're going to be flashing twrp with and right now we have to get our device into download mode. If you don't know how to get into download mode or recovery mode, I have a, sp a separate video listed into the card right next to my video. But uh, if you just want to follow this tutorial without any interruptions, all you have to do is to power off your device. So we're gonna be powering off our device. And after it is complete, completely booted off, all you have to do is to press Volume down, Bixby key and power key in order to get into download mode as you can see and then simply press volume up. So right now we're into download mode and we are currently ready to flash TWRP on our device. Make sure you connect your USB Type-C cable to your Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus and uh, Windows should be installing the USB drivers on your uh, PC right now and in order to continue all you have to do is to see added a line called added in the log section of Odin and also here it should say the port your um, your device is connected to your PC so right now leave anything like this go into AP section and uh, search for the twrp.tar file you downloaded this is the file we're going to be flashing. If it is a Galaxy S8 Plus, you will see a Dream 2 LTE variant here in the name of the file. But if you have a Galaxy S8, um, you will see just Dream LTE without a 2. So uh, 
This is the state your Odin will be before the flashing procedure, so make sure you double check this on my screen. And uh, we're ready to start flashing the TWRP. So click start on Odin. As you may see different uh, lines are added into the lock section. And right now it says pass. A green line. Our device is completely flashed. You're safe to reboot the USB cable. Now, your device may reboot into the software or may reboot into the TWRP. If your device booted into recovery, stay there. If not, we'll have to power off our device again. Sorry. And then we also should get into recovery mode. So how do you get into recovery mode? Press volume up, Bixby key and power key until you'll see the Galaxy S8 logo. Release them and now you will boot into recovery mode. Team win recovery mode as I told you. Now right now it says keep system read only. TWRP can leave your system partition modified to make it easier for you to take official updates. Okay, so right now you'll have to swipe to allow modifications. So right now you're into TWRP. Now after you boot it up into Team Win Recovery Project, this is the main screen. I will switch the camera in order for you to see better what I'm doing on the screen because the following steps are very important in order to get things done. Okay, so we're into Team Win Recovery Project and the first thing you'll need to do in order to get things done is to format the data. So go into wipe section, then format data and then type yes. Take in mind that this will erase everything and by everything I mean everything on your device including your internal storage so be aware of that and then click yes so right now data format has been completed click back back and then reboot again into recovery without installing the TWRP application so we're booting again into recovery Again, swipe to allow modification and we're back. Now I'm going to switch back to my face in order to show you the following steps you'll need to follow in order to get things done. Okay, so I'm back here after I uh, formatted my data. And right now we're into the main screen of TWRP again. Now you may wonder how do I get those files from my PC to my phone from Team Recovery Project and this is the way on how to do it. Click mount and then connect your phone again via the USB cable to your PC and voila! On your device, on your PC you should see the internal storage of your device. So click this, you will see a TWRP folder, ignore it. Let me minimize this uh, window and copy the no verity opt encrypt 5.1 along with the Magisk file. Now you have both files on your internal storage. Disconnect your phone and now let me switch back the camera again in order to show you how to install those files. Okay so we're back in TWRP main screen and uh, we're gonna be installing this file called NoVerity Opt Encrypt 5.1 Simply swipe to install it, like this, done installing. Then make sure if you want to root your device, go into Magisk and swipe to confirm the flash again. And right now you are ready to reboot your device and get into your OS. Click do not install the TWRP application. Take uh, in mind that the first boot may take up to 5 minutes, maybe 5 to 7 minutes, so make sure you be patient, grab all the cookie. Okay, so my device is finally booted up. As you may see in the application drawer, you'll have an application called Magisk Manager. And uh, as you may see it says latest version of Magisk installed and it is properly rooted. So your device is currently rooted. So that was it for today. I hope I helped you. If I did, please make sure you thumbs up 
and subscribe right to my channel. And as always, until next time, take care. Wicked is out. Bye-bye.